proclamation and celebration of the 14th anniversary of Arts is Education and designating the month of March 2014 as Youth Art Month. I'll actually get to this in my... Okay, so let me go ahead and read the proclamation and then, then um, you all can come up, okay? In celebration of the 14th anniversary of Arts is Education and designating the month of March 2014 as Youth Art Month, whereas every year the month of March has been declared National Youth Month across the United States, and whereas March 2014 is also the 14th anniversary of Art is Education, a countywide initiative to promote the integration of arts into public education, and whereas the Emory Unified School District and the Emeryville Artists Cooperative sponsor programs to promote youth art through their curriculum and the Emeryville Youth Art Artist in the Community and Artist in Residence programs, and whereas this is the 31st year that the cooperative venture between the school district and the Emeryville Artist Cooperative has provided youth-related art instruction, and whereas the city of Emeryville wishes to publicly recognize and support these youth art programs, its students, artists, and instructors, and whereas these programs enrich our city, residents, and business community, now, therefore, I, Jack Asher, Mayor of Emeryville, on behalf of the Emeryville City Council, do hereby proclaim the month of March 2014 as Youth Arts Month in recognition of the 14th anniversary of the Art Is Education Initiative and in affirmation of the city of Emeryville's commitment to youth art education and youth art programs. Um, Sharon Wilshire, Community Liaison for the 45th Street Artist Cooperative and coordinator for the cooperative's uh, Emeryville Youth Art Program. Um, this year's student artwork showcase, the, the showcase that's now on display at City Hall, um, represents arts learning from pre-K through young adults. And the various programs represented come from a diverse group of arts learning providers. The city of Emeryville's community services uh, uh, program, the recreation program, as well as the Emeryville Child Development Center, both include arts in their curriculum. And uh, a big thank you this year to Allison Berner with the rec department and Diana Garcia Ortiz with ECDC for providing us with artwork and we squeezed in as much as we could mm -hmm. um, in the link here at City Hall. Um, Several other projects are funded partially through the city's community promotions grants, and we all thank you again for your continued support. These include Nancy Carpen Dancers, successful dance and movement class uh, programs, rather, at Annie Yates, Collaz Printmaking uh, at Emory Secondary, and the 45th Street Artist Cooperative's uh, Emeryville Youth, Pro Youth Art Program now in its 31st year, which I can hardly believe um, <laughs> that it's been that long, but um, bringing professional artists, and at this point, uh, over 100 artists over the years into the classroom at Emory Unified, providing instruction and specialized art supplies and the opportunity for field trips uh, to artist studios. At Emory Unified, there are two full-time art programs, uh, one at Anna Yates with Ashley McHugh, and the other at Emory Secondary with Sarah Stillman. And um, we all thank the council for this recognition this evening and the recognizing the importance of arts and education in our community. And um, we hope that uh, during the month of March, through March 30th, that, that uh, the community comes to visit the work, the, the, the work, uh, especially from the high school, is really outstanding. Ms. Stillman is here this evening, and uh, several of her students are here, and I know they'd like to say a few words. So thank you very, very much. Thank you, Sharon. Good evening, thank you so much for having us. Um, March is Art Education Month throughout the entire county, but we are the only city that lets us take over the entire city <laughs> hall with our work, so we are very, very grateful. Um, my students and I are so lucky to be in this community, and I would like to recognize some of our community partners right now so that you're aware of who's coming into our school and all that they're doing, and I know my students want to share a little bit about what they've been um, doing. They told me my speech was very long, so I'm going to go very quickly, and I might leave some things out, and um, I don't know what they're saying. They wouldn't let me see their speeches. But um, we've had several individual contributions to the class 
um, this year. Um, most recently, um, Maurice Kaufman came to my class to talk about um, development and the growth of Emeryville physically and help with our Emeryville history unit. Um, and he taught us how landfill is actually made. And so that was really, really exciting. <laughs> um, we've had um, Emeryville resident and Emeryville Historical Society member Richard Ambro come to teach oh, my students cool. how to use old maps and the items that are on older maps from before Emeryville was incorporated right. and comparing them and plotting the locations and um, sites on modern uh, AAA maps. So that was a real aha moment for many of my students just today. Um, we've had artist Sarah Lancutis who came. She is an artist who uses um, historical images of Emeryville and West Oakland in her work and she explained how she did that in our work. And um, it was last spring but Ken James did come to talk to us a little bit about the power of our public art. <laughs> so we're very grateful for these um, individual partners but we have larger partners as well. Um, Cliff Barr has hosted our last two art and music showcase events. Um, they have helped when transporting our instruments to their performance space. They've um, helped us hang artwork in their gallery space. And I can't tell you what it's like to hear our band play on a stage with lights and a sound system. It's really <laughs> elevated their performance and um, how they value their performance. And our students to see their work hung with lights shining on it is really wonderful. The Cliff Bar <laughs> staff members um, volunteer to help us set up and break down the event, and they also provide and serve refreshments to um, our families, which is really wonderful. Um, IKEA has been a wonderful donor as well. They have provided lots of plastic bins to my classroom so that students can help keep their work organized, and lots of fabric for our bulletin boards. Um, but by far the most hands-on partner we have is the 45th Street Artist Cooperative. Um, they have not only provided new shelves for our students' work, we had to leave a lot of things that were built in in our old site. They delivered them and put them together for me. So now that um, our, our room looks much more like our old studio. Um, they have donated supplies to Anna Yates and Emory Secondary School, um, which is just under 10,000 for the past year, $10,000, which um, is such a gift. Um, and I have to thank my partner, Sharon, who, um, Whatever I say I need or whatever I say I'm looking for, or whatever I say my students are curious about, she finds a way to make it happen. And she does it so gracefully and elegantly. And um, I just am so grateful to your contributions. Thank you so much. Um, tonight, I have three of my seniors who have endured many years with me. Um, <laughs> we have Alondra Solis. Samara Alcott and Darrell Thomas, who are going to share a little bit about what arts learning is like for them as students in Emeryville. Great. Thank you. Okay. Welcome. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to take pictures if you don't. Mind. Okay. <laughs> of course. Yeah. Yeah. Good evening, everybody. I'm Samara. Can you lower your, the microphone a little bit? Great. Hello. Good evening, everybody. I'm Samara Alcott, and I'm a senior at Emory Secondary School. And Ms. Stillman has been my art teacher since the seventh grade, and I've been wow. in the district since 2001, so I've kind of know everybody in the Emeryville district, but I've learned a lot being in her art class. I feel like I've learned more than other students at different, that attend different schools, and so it's such, it's a, oh, I'm sorry, and that Emeryville is so close together that we have so much partnerships with different communities, people that are around, and they donate us, donate the school with lots of art supplies and all this good stuff, and we've been learning about the, um, the history of Emeryville, and we had Mr. Kaufman come in and talk to us about it, and we can learn a lot about our history through art and how art is very complex. You know, the simplest things are, have the most meaning to it. And art is dealing with architecture and just art is life. And I just learned a lot through Ms. Stillman, especially through my job too. We had we were doing lino cut printings and I was like, oh, I already knew that. Ms. Stillman taught me that years ago. So I feel like I'm advanced in my art and I'm, I'm happy being in her art class, especially my last year at Emory High School. And yes, so thank you for listening. Oh, thank thank you. you. Um, hi, my name is Alondra Solis, and I'm currently a senior at Emory Secondary School. So the first time I ever had an art class was in the seventh grade with Miss Stillman. And at the time, I didn't really have an appreciation for art because I come from a family who doesn't see it as a very useful thing. So I'm currently in my fifth year in her art class and I have since then grown to see how art can really impact communities and how people have power through it. 
And at first, like, art class was just a, another class for me. It wasn't really anything too important. But over the time, I saw it start to play a role in my daily life. And, like, it would help me to really stress or to, like, send messages out to my community. And I saw how I could use my art practice in the art class to really express myself and explore my identity. Um, so over the years, art has become my favorite subject, and it's something I really love and I have discovered through the art program at my school. That's something I really want to pursue later on in my life. And it's something that I really could use to empower myself and make an impact in my community. Wonderful, thank well, you. Thank you. How you doing? My name is Darrell Thomas. I'm a senior at Emory uh, Secondary School. And when I first got to Emory and I seen art on my schedule, I was like, art? <laughs> <laughs> like, I can't even draw, so why would I even take art? So I was like, oh, I'm going to fail because I can't draw. So um, when I first met Miss Stillman, she was like hecka cool. And she, had, she was like very uplifting. Like, if you come in her class down, she will like come around you and bring her good spirits around you and stuff. And... Uh, learning a lot in her class has been major fun for me. From seventh grade now to twelfth grade, it's like I look back and be like, "Gosh, I learned so much about art." And like now, learning about the lonely Native Americans that were in the East Bay. Some know they were right there at Bay Street, yeah. and it's it's like it's a, it's tough seeing what they went through and, and stuff and what like they had to do and like how they got like shipped out, kinda, but. It was the past, but I still like it, and I'm learning a lot from Mr. Kaufman when he came in our class about the history, like the landfills, and a lot, and um, I just love art, and yeah, I look forward to being a good student in her class till the end of the year. Right. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for allowing us to join you. Um, we the school night, so we're probably gonna okay. <laughs> yeah, go out a little early. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you. I I just want to say I appreciate all three of you speaking about this, and um, it's very meaningful to hear uh, what a difference art has made in in your lives. And so I have the um, of the personal opinion <coughs> that um, good art can uplift and provide hope and when things get tough and you kind of lose perspective that art can kind of regain <coughs> a larger perspective on life so it makes things go a little bit easier so anyway thank you I'm, I'm glad you've um, found meaning in that and I wish you well in the years to come and before you know it graduation will be here be here yeah <laughs> yes yeah. thank you Thank you. Good night. Okay.